You failed a required first semester class that needs to be made up second semester. If you would like to change your schedule for a different reason, please follow the directions on the bottom of your schedule sheet. A listing of open courses can be found on the EHS Counseling website. This year, Student Council is doing a new event called a Singathon to help raise money for the Christmas charity. There will be four different duet groups of teachers at each lunch period. Your job is to put your money in the duet bucket you want to see sing live on Effort at AM. The bucket with the most money wins. Starting this Friday, swing at, by that table at lunch and drop your money in the teacher duet group you wish to, see, to sing a truly embarrassing Christmas song. Biddings end next Wednesday. Are you ready? For what? For donuts, of course. Ooh, that's right. Student Council is running the annual Christmas Charity Homeroom Competition this year. The homeroom that raises the most money will get a donut party that Santa would be sorry to miss. What's so good about just donuts? Oh, hold on. It's not just donuts. You could possibly have it all. Hot chocolate, milk, OJ, fruit, bagels, Christmas cookies, you name it, you got it. And all that happens on December 21st, the day you leave for break. So what a better way to end the year before Christmas break with the spread the likes of Buddy the Elf has never seen. Does second place get anything? Yep, birds. The homeroom that gets second place will have a regular donut party. So just donuts, which is still pretty cool. And those donuts will be there December 21st before you leave for break, too. Does third place get anything? The rumor is their homeroom gets high fives from Mr. Marzok on December 21st. That prize does sound better than the rest. So don't be a cotton-headed ninny muggins and help out some local effort of family this holiday season. Every little bit counts. That's pretty sweet. Sweeter than a candy cane. So talk to your homeroom teacher to see how you can help spread Christmas cheer for all the world to hear this holiday season. Now over to Lexi with the news. Hi, I'm Lexi, and I'm giving you the news today. Woo! China has urged the U.S. and Canada to clarify the arrest of Meng Wanzhou, Hui chief official officer. The daughter of the founder of the Chinese telecom giant was arrested in Vancouver on December 1st and can face extradition to the U.S. Details of the arrest have not been released, but the U.S. has been investigating Hui over possible violations of sanctions against Iran. China demanded her release, saying her detention was possibly rights abuse. In other news, a big search and rescue operation is continuing in Japan for five missing U.S. Marines after two aircraft with seven crew collided and crashed into the sea. The two Marines were rescued. One is in fair condition, while the other one is being transported to a local hospital for evaluation, the Marine officials say. The planes involved are a KC-130 and an FA-18 based on the Aikawani near Hiroshima. U.S. media say they crashed during a mid-air fueling Exercise. The Marine Corps has not officially confirmed this, describing the incident as a mishap. On this day in 1865, the 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution officially ended the institution of slavery was ratified. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude except as punishment or for crime, wherefore the party shall be been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subjected to their jurisdiction. With these words, a single greatest change wrought by the Civil War was officially noted in the Constitution. Now over to the juniors with lunch. What's up, Ephrata? Um, I didn't see you there at first. We got uh, chestnuts roasting by an open fire, but uh, chestnuts aren't gonna stop me from doing lunch. We got a meatball sandwich with mozzarella, buffalo chicken panini, barbecue bacon cheeseburger, garlic, French bread pizza, Italian hoagie, crispy chicken salad, Fruit and yogurt parfait with muffin, tossed salad, seasoned sweet potato fries, refried beans, broccoli cauliflower salad, applesauce, fresh fruit, or that slushy baby. Ski season is almost here and your time is running out to join the Ski and Snowboard Slub. We ski at Bear Creek five times starting in January. Whether you're learning or experienced, Bear Creek is a great place to be on the slopes. See Mrs. Brumhaw or Mr. Shortest to get signed up now. Today in sports, there are no events, but start planning now for the weekend full of basketball and wrestling tournaments. Now for the thought of the day. Good morning, Effort AM. I'm doing the quote of the day. So the quote for today is, Do not take life too seriously. You'll never get out of it alive, by Ellert Hubbard. Uh, this essentially means that 
as you're going through life, try and be a little more carefree as you're going through your everyday. Because eventually, you won't be able to just have fun anymore. You'll just kind of get old and whatever. So enjoy life. Are you exploring military options? There's an event for you at Hemfield High School tonight from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. This is a great opportunity to learn about military service, job training, and college funding. There will also be presenters who will provide information about the benefits of an ROTC scholarship, full tuition, books, stipend, etc. Please take advantage of this chance to see what our armed services have to provide you. The chess team playing Hemfield in their season opener on Tuesday. They had wins on board 1-2 and two by Zeke Jones and Bryce Babiak, but lost the overall match 2-3. to three. Kimmy Earl and Mitchell Percival had wins on their first outings with the team on board 6 and 7 respectively. Wish them luck as they travel to Lancaster Catholic Thursday to take on the Crusaders. For those interested in auditioning or being part of the Pitt Orchestra for the spring musical, The Adams Family School Edition, an informational meeting will be held on Wednesday, December 19th at 3.30 p.m. in the auditorium. At that time, audition packages and song selections from the show will be taught. Auditions are scheduled for January 7th and 8th with callbacks on January 9th. Dual enrollment information is now available on the Guidance website. Stop by Guidance for any paperwork that you may need. So, for a quick pun, what do snowmen eat for breakfast? Snowflakes. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to join Ski and Snowboard Slub. Okay. Bye, Ephrata. Sent a baby, slip a sable under the tree for me. I've been a 